That's who the Bears are trading up to get. Sarah Spain, Chicago's own Sarah Spain. How you feeling? You doing all right? I'm ready to talk about Mitch. Mitch is our quarterback. That's this, the new tease in Chicago. <laughs> you sounded real excited about I'm, that. I'm trying to stay positive. Well, I, Mike, I want you to tell Sarah what you said about Bears fans, about them being bitter. Oh, how y'all acted on, on Thursday night? <laughs> y'all are bitter and hurt. No, I mean, it's a terrible move. So what did he know, have to do see? with getting picked? <laughs> no, but, but to be, why are we booing him before he even started? Why is it so terrible? All right, listen, here's the thing. We can't be clamoring for a quarterback every single year. Then they go out and make a bold move and take one and no season in years. And we don't know enough about his picks yet. Look, Jordan Howard, great find. Yeah. You know, right, right behind his So the small Elliott. school picks, right. you like those too? You don't know. You <laughs> She's trying here, Mike. Oh, She's trying. Right. Who is this I person? was sticking with the optimism, and right. then you got to bring up Ashland, <laughs> North Carolina A&T, and, yeah. and somewhere called Kutztown, but plenty of which people apparently bus is picking, in Pennsylvania. But they plenty of people bus picking big time Power Five school I get players. it. I get. It. But here's the thing. Okay, if you're gonna lose a bunch of picks to players who get to know his style. Okay, that's enough for, uh, to ask of us. But then he did trade down a little bit, but you still use picks that you could have traded down even more to get a Division II tight end, a bunch of guys from non-FBS schools, a guy who's injured. It's a lot to ask. You've got to give us one in there that we're give like, that looks good. But, but you know? here's the thing, and you hit on it earlier. Trust either. When he came, we said, all right. They went out, look, no more Mark Tressman. Look what you did with the, the Argonauts in <laughs> Canada. Let's get a real football coach. So then we bring in John Fox. And within the first two years, everyone's like, was this a golden parachute job where he doesn't want to do the work? And he work? called Jeff Fisher for advice on how to handle right. this. Right, right. And I mean, well, the other... Well, I listen, 8-8 eight eight would be a big upgrade <laughs> for us. <laughs> You're like, I'm, I'm not even playing. 3-13 <laughs> and 13 to 8-8, eight and eight, that's the kind of progress we need to see. Yeah. Give us Jeff Fisher all day for a, for a season. But, I mean, yeah, it, and that's the thing is, there is no... Uh, what did he tell you about what to expect at the next level of play? Uh, expect, you know, to be treated like, like an adult and, you know, approach the game, you know, like it's your last every day. And when you wake up, you know, take advantage of the day. And, you know, I seen a guy in him that worked hard and, you know, he took that next step in his life and that's why he's being successful. So, you know, just continue to work hard and, you know, control what you can control. We have something in common besides our physical prowess. We both have a Grandma Betty. <laughs> I have a grip. My grandma Betty tries to force feed root beer floats down my throat. What does your grandma Betty try to feed you every time you come around? Peanut butter jelly. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But it's not just you. I hear that, that your grandma has really kind of yeah. become the, the team mother. Oh, but yes. You're going to stay home. Yeah. You, are you, why did you decide to stay home? Uh, I got a family, you know, I got, I got, I got a newborn and, you know, yeah, so, you know, I'm gonna stay home with them. So you're gonna have your newborn and you're throwing a party then? Yeah. Are you still gonna, cause you know, a lot of what we want to see from the draft is what you guys choose to wear. Are you still gonna, you gonna go casual or are you still gonna pull it out? Suit and tie. Yeah? You already have the outfit ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Writer for ESPN the magazine and co-host of the Morning Roast. You guys have to check it out. You hold your own. You make them better. I appreciate it. So we're sitting here with the Etch a Sketch, and I'm telling her that I, I really believe this is one of the best gifts you can give people of all ages. But you've decided to take an Etch a Sketch and, and somehow illustrate the biggest storylines of the NBA playoffs. Tell us about that. I etched Giannis because, in my mind, he is the breakout star of yeah. the playoffs. Even though his team is maybe unlikely to advance, it's been so fun to watch America learn. Like, this is the future of the NBA. I actually wow. had a little bit of trouble getting his entire wingspan. Uh, yeah, you, it's right at the very edge of the Etch-A-Sketch. All right, folks, look, let me what tell you, it? how creative is this? You need an Etch-A-Sketch. If you haven't heard about this, you need to go and get one. Some, you know, these millennials are like, what exactly is an Etch-A-Sketch? The best gift you can ever educating. give someone. It is educating. Mina